Hey guys, so today we're gonna be creating this super easy makeup look that I typically go for on a day-to-day -day basis. As you can see, I'm not wearing any eyeliner. I've kind of been with the whole like bare eyes look and I kind of worked my makeup routine based on my skin tone right now. Um, I did get a little bronze. I don't know if you guys can see that, but mama's proud. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna see how I created this look, then keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. Was that weird? I don't know. Okay, so before we get started, I just want you guys to know that I have already moisturized my skin. I used the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Cream with uh, Super 7 Complex. I actually bought the travel size of this first and I absolutely fell in love with this before I invested my money and bought this one. So I've already um, applied this around my whole face. And now I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit, like this much, and put this only in the areas where I feel like my pores are like, whoa. So like right here, for example, right on the forehead, my nose, and my chin. My chin or chin chin. For foundation, I am gonna go in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, when I got this the first time, it was a little too dark for me, but it's actually the perfect match now. I'm gonna take my Damp Beauty Blender and I'm gonna Dot, 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 dot on my face and just blend it out. Let me use this because I can't see. And what I love about this foundation that yes, it's full coverage, sort of. For me, it's like a medium full coverage, but I just, I don't know, I just love how it makes my skin look. So for concealer, I'm gonna be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Neutral. A little bit definitely goes a long way with this stuff, guys. Now I'm gonna take my Damp Beauty Blender and just blend that out. Don't mind my faces. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. Um, this stuff is great. I mean, there's that's that's it. That's all there is to say. This stuff is great. Um, but this is just a regular powder puff. Nothing fancy about it. I like to press uh, my powder under my eyes. I'm not really like too much of a fan of baking, but I just like to press it and set it and make sure it's locked in. Since we've, you know, gone a little bit tanner with the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, Mineralized Skin Finish Powder by MAC and just like put some around my face. Put some of this, and this is a Morphe M553 brush. To make all this set and melt into my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Smashbox Primer Water. Um, this is actually the travel size. As you can see, I'm a fan of buying travel size things first and then trying out the bigger things if I feel like it's worth investing my money into. But um, as you can see, this is running a little bit low. So I'm actually gonna end up buying this again for sure. I don't know how to do it. But I bought this in China, I thought it was super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry down on my face. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows, but I'm actually gonna do them off camera real quick. Uh, you know, just for symmetry purposes. You know, I want, I want my eyebrows to look like sisters, not cousins, not friends, sisters, twin sisters, hopefully. I'll take sisters, that'll be fine for me. If you guys wanted to know, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil in dark brown. So moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Tarte Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer in the color Hotel Eris. This stuff is very pigmented. Um, I mean like one swipe and it's like coating your entire finger. And you know, so you really gotta go in with a light hand with this stuff. For that reason, I'm actually gonna take a fan brush to apply my bronzer. I'm just gonna dip in there like ever so lightly. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up this area ever so lightly. It's like I said, this stuff is dangerous. All 
here. I'm actually going to like really lightly just pass it right here through my jawline. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit powder form. Um, yes, I've had this forever, so yes, some of the colors have hit pan, but that's okay. It's still very functional. I'm actually gonna go in with this color in the middle right here and just do a little one, two, one, two around my nose. All right, so now that that's done, I am going to put on my mascara and my eyelashes off camera but for those wondering I am gonna go in with the voluminous lash paradise by L'Oreal okay so I just put on my mascara and my lashes and for lashes I'm wearing the Ardell wispy lashes I mean those are like my tried and true I don't give them up for nothing so I know this is a little unorthodox but I'm actually gonna apply blush now I didn't think I needed it before but I kind of want to add a little bit more color to my face so I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Amazonian clay 12-hour blush in the color sensual and this is a sonia cash hook brush you can find these brushes at target they're amazing i've had this brush for years and i don't let it go like i've gone through so many blush brushes and i always go back to this one so now it's time to highlight why is it making that noise i'm gonna go in with the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder this powder actually reminds me a lot of the mac soft and gentle highlighting powder um just the color is very similar but for today we're gonna use wet and wild i'm gonna coat my brush with a little bit of setting spray just a little bit <laughs> just to get the full effect of the highlighter and i'm gonna do a little Swabu, swabu, and then I'm gonna go right here. Ooh, pretty, That's pretty. And I'm gonna bring it up all the way to my brow. That's cute. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other cheek. Who are we kidding? Let's put some more spray. Right, now I'm gonna take my little index finger and I'm gonna swirly swirl and I'm gonna put some right at the tip of my nose and just bring it up a little tiny bit right there. And I'm gonna also do the same with my index finger and put it right here over the cupid's bow. Okay, so for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Freckle Tone Lipstick. Um, it's a luster, lustre. I love this lipstick. Um, it actually melted in my car, so, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna put it on, okay? The last, Final step. I'm gonna set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Whew. All right guys, so here's the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I tried to make it very simple, very easy. This is pretty much the look that I go for on a day-to-day -day basis. I uh, try to focus more on like the Skin and how it looks just focus my attention in other places like this highlight you know what I'm saying okay so if you guys have any recommendations for videos that you want to see next go ahead and leave them in the comments down below your girl appreciates it uh-huh and yeah I'll catch you guys in my next video bye